a marvellous wig. Just to top off at the end of it, to top the week off. Um, I discovered I was uh, Myers Brig INFJ, you know, which absolutely helps me so much because when I read the report that it, it churns out, um, it was so accurate, absolutely accurate. And all my life I've never really thought I belong here. It's always seemed to this day. It seems a, a strange place. In a not in a hostile way. It's as though I've always been here observing. I want to observe rather to jo than to join in. And I also the other point that got me was my. I love my own company. I couldn't be happier <laughs> in my own company. Whether it's playing the guitar, writing music, writing which is my, well, I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. Since I learnt to write, I was writing stories. Um, it's really, really helped. And the other thing that's happened this week, or the past sort of three weeks, um, me and a colleague of mine, who they both study the more esoteric, psychological, I don't know really how to describe it, but um, philosophical mm. anyway realities w we've sold this reality the, the, m the reality that most people can relate to um, from birth by parents by social conditioning um, lots of things school absolutely school university job um, and I've never really fitted into that it always seems such a waste of time because I have my own things to get on with um, so that really held me back and another thing that I did I, I ended up in the city earning six figure salaries um, project management so a lot of planning um, lot of big projects that if something happened to them uh, you know they, if it was a dealing room they could be losing sort of 200 million pounds every five minutes so he was up against it but it wasn't the pressure that got to me it was just one one day I was sitting in my office and I spun round and I looked over uh, St Catherine's dock it was I looked out the window and I thought I shouldn't be getting paid this much money for what I'm doing and there was this horrible feeling that not I would get caught out, but we all would. And from that day, the job that I, I loved it just didn't mean anything anymore. It, was, it, it fell away. I tried to cope by drinking, become alcoholic. Um, and then I spent the last 12 years working with the homeless um, as an addiction counsellor. Uh, and it's brilliant. Money doesn't mean anything. Obviously, I need it for the flat and food and whatever. But it's not the main goal. It never has been, but I was made to think it was. And now I can live a much happier life. But anyway, the realities, getting back to realities, um, I've been going places for years in my dreams and you can't say they're one-offs, you know, you can't, it's not a dream, when you're there you know it's a different place, you're actually existing in that place and I keep going back to those places, about 12 different places I go to, I can break them down later on in some videos, um, <coughs> if this one comes out, I haven't got a clue where he's going to, it's my first attempt. Um, so yeah, when you're dreaming, think about this. Do you go back to the same places? I do. Most, and so does my colleague that we're studying this alternative reality with. You could be sitting, daydreaming, 
and be in a completely different world. I can as well. Is that bad or good? I don't know. But it's very, very interesting. No, it's good. Because it's what I want to do. So yeah, play with different realities. You don't have to be stuck with this one. Perception. And um, let's hope that uh, all of our realities will be changing shortly. Um, we have to decide what sort of world we want and I'm sure that decision's coming up so um, I hope that made sense uh, I'm going to sign off and um, come back to you hopefully in a day or two week or two uh, procrastination is a big thing but uh, I'll do my best and thank you very much for listening, comments appreciated if this at all made any sense to anyone. <laughs> Cheers and good night.